morning. Uh, as Dan is saying, that I'm uh, ready to graduate from uh, from from my SU from my from my lab. So I was a Mac Window user. Then I became a sort of developer, and I again going to be a user. So I'm I'm very happy about it. And so today I want to look at the product on which I work, not as a developer but as a user. Uh, in a way that what I really developed here and what actually as a user I would like to see in it. So what is the potential? You know what what eventually this product should look like, how it should grow. Uh, so that would be an interesting take on this product, and I want to look at this product in that way. Uh, first, I will give you a very brief, in case uh, you know some of you may not be aware of this product. So I'll give you a very brief. Uh, uh, look at the uh, uh, look at the product and uh, what what exactly it does, and then we'll move to the to the user perspective, and then uh, and then we'll end up with a one you know tangential take. You give techie to you assign a techie to draw a circle, and at the end of the job, at the end of the assignment, you will see there is always a tangent hanging to that circle. You know, this is how the work as well. So we'll just look look at the, a small tangent from a user's perspective, and then we'll end this presentation for a coffee break. So uh, this this project uh, as uh, involves an information system, and I was reading in a Time magazine, uh, I think a couple of months back, that the two fields in GIS, the two fields in GIS. Which are which are which will probably create a lot of jobs in the United States are uh, data mining and location aware services. So this is exactly this product exactly caters to uh, uh, these two fields: data mining. I am looking for hydrologic data, uh, which is nested in a huge hydrologic data, millions of records, billions of records, and I want to see some sense from this data. I want to get a sense out of this data. By uh, by seeing them on a map, by by pinpointing them, uh, uh, by getting the location out of it, and then I want to see that how this data uh, can be analyzed properly. So this this product is exactly uh, you know serving that purpose. Uh, there is a huge water data. I'm not a hydrologist. Uh, my my uh, my guide and mentor is Dan is. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, You you uh, when you are dealing with hydrology, you you are getting a lot of data collected, and uh, <coughs> these are the various sources of data. You can see the images uh, on the screen. Uh, this data is coming, and this data is going to one information system, and then this data has a time uh, a time uh, 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 attached to it. Uh, this is the time series data. So a data. If, if I'm looking at the stream flow, then stream flow today at this time. Then after five minutes, after ten minutes, after fifteen minutes, after one day, after two day, after one month, after one year. So there is there is a time element involved in it, which is making this data huge. So this was the this is the model of the uh, of uh, of the Kwasi Kwasi. It's a consortium of universities for advancement of hydrologic sciences. And so this consortium was working to create uh, a sort of a framework, a complete umbrella, in which there are three main constituents. The first constituent is HIS Central, which is the catalog. The, the data is so huge, so I I need to generate a catalog to 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 find out where the data is. And these are the hybrid servers. So these are servers which are which are spread all over the world, which are storing the data. You know, based on that local region or country or state or whatever, and then to get that data, to see that data. So this product, Hydro Desktop, is something which is talking to metadata, HR Central, getting the catalog information, and then downloading the data from Hydro Server. So actually, when I'm when I'm running a search in Hydro Desktop, I'm asking HR Central where this data is lying. I get that information, and then I, I I get this information in the form of the name of the uh, site code and the name of the server, and then I download the information to Hyper Desktop. So this is a this this is basically the the whole project is all about. Uh, I I don't want to get into technicalities of Hyper Desktop right now. We have a website called hyperdesktop.bookplex.com, 
Uh, if you have already not done so, you can go to this website and uh, download the latest product and, uh, and try, try for yourself you know, how this product works, how this can help you. It's very intuitive. There is there is no there is no a difficult or uh, a difficult learning path. Uh, as soon as you install this product, it, uh, you know it, it, it is pretty intuitive and it, it it gives you the option how to start and how to search and how to download the data. <coughs> Uh, whenever you are working in a software project, the most important thing is positioning statement. Whether it's an open source project or a, or, uh, or, a, or a commercial project, anything. Where is my project, uh, product or project is positioned? Uh, in open source project, the challenge is, the challenge is pretty good. If this is the, if this is the, this is the circle, a cycle of my project. In open source project, it's very difficult to find where I am standing right now. Because I have reached probably at this stage where I am evaluating my product, but still I am receiving feedback from my users, my customers. Uh, we want this, we want that, uh, we want to, we want something like that. And there are various voices which are giving you their feedback. So I am always thinking, but then I am standing here, I should go back to this place. So this is this this circle ideally should end at this this page this place, but in open source project it keep on moving, and this is one very big challenge that we have been facing in hybridized software project. Uh, when I joined ISU uh, in uh, 2010 January, we uh, we we I think we started hybridized software project as a as a plugin using MAP Android 4, and then we moved to uh, Doc Spatial as that was developing the Doc Spatial libraries. And, uh, and 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 then it became a uh, uh, you know a independent pro uh, product, and slowly this product has uh, has has taken shape, and it's right now a flagship product uh, uh, for dog spatial. <coughs> okay, this is how it looks like this product right now. Uh, uh, this, as you can see, on the on the right hand side, there is a when you when you will install this software on your machine, this this is how the product will open. And on the right hand side, this this is the search module, the data search module. And this map is going to give you the interface, the location awareness. So this this is the most important part, and this is this is where I go down also, creating a search module. How to how to search the data and how to eventually get that data. Now let's let's take a quick. Uh, <coughs> okay. Now, as a user, I want to see when I acquire this data, how do I use this data eventually? So, this is one one of the things that I can use the data in in a certain certain way. So, I am here. I have searched the data for temperature, precipitation, and the groundwater level for Texas State. And these are the monthly averages. So I took this data to Excel and used the pivot tables. And uh, 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 using pivot tables, I created the monthly averages. And then I, 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 I got the shape files because the points, the side stations that I get in the hybrid desktop, I save them as shape files and I, I, I eventually took them to uh, RGS. And then using the geostatistical tool which is available in RGS, I, I, I carried out the statistical analysis. For the for the temperature data, for the precipitation data, and for and seeing the relationship, you know this as you can see this is the cross covariance cloud, and I, then I did the various interpolations. So basically, what what I tried, I I downloaded the data using Hydro Desktop, but eventually I took this data to ArcGIS, a ESI product for geostatistical analysis. So as a user, this is one of my objective design. I want to do this 
uh, analysis, that is geostatistical analysis in my in 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 in, in my own product in hydro desktop. So as a user, this is what I'm aspiring to get in in next few years or months. So this, as you can see, this is the analysis uh, uh, which which was done by uh, using RGS software, and and I could get this data and do the carry out this analysis within one hour. So this is the power of hydro desktop. While I was working for this, uh, as I was saying, that there is a there is always a tension to the to the circle of work that you do. Uh, I started looking for something which is a web option. Yesterday I was talking to Paul uh, how how GIS is, is evolving and how internet and web based uh, things will would play a major role in uh, in, in in GIS. So uh, I I started exploring if there can be uh, a hydro desktop kind of product in on the web, and for that purpose. Uh, in higher desktop, we have a um, we have a we uh, we have something a modular kind of shape where we have a search, a table, a graphical interface, and then there are various plugins which come in and add to this whole interface. So, can I create something something like this in my uh, uh, in a, in in a web on a web based version? So this is the this is this is basically for the this explains that the complete positioning positioning of the product uh, uh, hybrid desktop and these are the the huge data that I am having. So if you look at this this orange circle, this this basically gives you the uh, the, the results which are the you know table files, shape files, GS, GR, RSS formats, or the statistical output, the tabular outputs. And I am getting these outputs. From hydro desktop, as you can see. But there is a, there is another circle which is the ArcGIS Arc Map which is coming here, which can help me in the statistical analysis. So probably this part can also get developed on this side. And then I developed, I started working on a website called Hydro Data Web, which which basically helps us in finding the data on the web version using server like technology. So this is the website which which uh, this is this is in a beta stage. It's just a trial, and uh, uh, the website was created using the uh, using the silver light assemblies, and uh, it, it 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 basically requests the same hydrology information system and get the data on the web. And uh, so in your browser, actually, what you see, uh, you don't have to download anything on your machine, but everything is there on the browser, and you get the data in the browser and see the charts or the tables. But it ends here because we cannot do the kind of analysis which you can do in a hydro desktop or RGIS platforms. So this is uh, hydro desktop uh, is is essentially uh, a, a tool or uh, is part of the family which which helps you in getting the information, hydrologic uh, information uh, from a large information system. And these components eventually make uh, the, the user interfaces give you the user interfaces for getting that. So this is what this project is all about. Thanks.